Looking at our world from a theological perspective, this is the Theology Central Podcast, making Theology Central. Good evening, everyone. It is Sunday, August the 1st, 2021. It is currently 7.08 p.m. Central Time, and I'm here inside the empty sanctuary of Victory Baptist Church, located here in the middle of nowhere, Texas, Ovalo, Texas, to be exact. And, well, I've turned on the microphone, and I'm getting ready to throw out an absolutely crazy idea, all right? I don't think this is going to work very well. I think this is going to be a complete disaster. This is one of those things where I have the idea, but I haven't really worked out all of the details. And instead of trying to figure it out or or testing it, like, uh, you know, with maybe one or two people, I'm just like, you know what? Just turn on the microphone. I'm just going to throw the idea out there to everyone. And even and maybe maybe it's going to fall apart for us and it's not going to work very well. And there, there's a very high, <laughs> there's a high probability this is not going to work, but I'm going to throw it out there because it maybe someone can take the idea and then you can use the idea and you can use it in a way that will work far better. And you can put it together and organize it and in, in a way a way that I cannot. Maybe you can use it in your church, your Sunday school. Maybe you can find a way that to to make this work. But I'm going to I'm going to tell you about something. I'm going to tell you about my idea and then we'll see. And and I need at least a few of you to try to even even if this all falls apart, I need at least a few of you. You can be a member of Victory Baptist Church, not a member of Victory Baptist Church. I don't care who you are. I need a couple of you to help me out. Just for for you to look at it and go, "Man, that's complicated. That does not work very well." Or like, "Whoa, that's that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, sign me up. I'll 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 do this, all right? So, let me explain what's going on and hopefully this will all make sense. Okay. I have been for I can't even imagine how long I've been struggling with this issue and dealing with this issue. And at times I just at times I just want to give up and don't ever try again. But throughout my whole Christian life, I have constantly struggled with how do you get other Christians to engage in meaningful daily Bible study? What do you have to do? What do you have to do? How, and because study after study comes out, Christians don't read their Bible. They don't study their Bible. Christians don't listen to sermons. They don't. Now, there's a lot of Christians who do Bible study. There are Christians who listen to sermons. But clearly, the numbers are getting worse and worse and worse. You look at the state of biblical illiteracy inside the American church. It's horrible. It's frightening. You look at the doctrinal uh, illiteracy within the American church. It's horrible. It's frightening. You look at the illiteracy when it comes to church, dis- uh, church discipline, church history within the, uh, the American church. It's frightening. It's sad. It's horrible. However, there are you know, a million products out there. There's always these new ideas to say, hey, here, use this. Get your church to use this. Hey, buy your church this. Get your church these devotional guides. Place this material in their hands and it will be life-changing. And what I have witnessed over and over and over is every attempt churches have tried to get people to actually engage in meaningful Bible study, most of them have been very unsuccessful and it's been a waste of a whole lot of money. All right. I've seen this. I mean, the whole reason churches started small groups, one of the reasons is that, well, I can't do a lot of this equipping uh, from the pulpit. So you can do more meaningful in-depth studies and small groups than I can from the pulpit. And then small groups turn into social clubs and 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 many of those uh, small groups money is spent to hand everyone in that small group curriculum that they never read and they never use. (laughs) <laughs> and you're like, how many billions of dollars have been wasted in trying to put material in the hands of people who don't use them? I watched this when I was a teenager. Uh, our Sunday school got a, 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 a quarterly study guide. I, I, I marked up every page, read every word, did everything. I, nobody did it. Nobody cared. Nobody used it. When I was in a, a, a different Sunday school classes in uh, Nebraska, they would give us, okay, we're going to, we're going to study this book. We're going to study this. Nobody was reading it. Nobody was, and it's like, what is the point? Stop buying books. Stop wasting money. Stop it. Nobody uses it. But in the meantime, then one of the number one complaints by Christians all over the country is I'm just not being fed and I, and, and the teaching is shallow. And it's like, okay, so what do you want? Do you want to do something? You don't want to do something. And I've tried, and I'm constantly trying to get you engaged in Bible study, the Bible study exercises. That's free of charge. 
It's me taking the Bible, and all you need is a Bible, a notebook, some basic reference tools. Uh, usually, I'm pointing you to, to resources you can use online, and um, and I and I literally tell you where to go. I tell you how to find it, and how many people are participating in the Bible study exercises. I, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. It's it's very difficult to get Christians actually a meaningful study. But I'm telling you, look at the state of the world. Look at the state of the church. Look, I'm telling. There is no hope. There's no change. Nothing is going to occur without that. I know Christians want to run around and we got to get someone elected and we got to fight political battles and cultural battles. You better look at what we got to do to wake up the church. The church is is spiritually dead. The church is spiritually sick. The church is spiritually asleep. The church is spiritually apathetic, complacent, and distracted, and they don't care. And unless there's a spiritual awakening, and that spiritual awakening is not going to occur uh, without the word of God, we've got to get Christians into God's word on a regular, consistent, daily basis. Now, I'm going to continue to do what I can, right? Yes, sometimes we talk about the news, but I'm going to continue to do Bible study exercises. I'm going to get back to the Greek word of the day. I'm going to continue to do what I can. So I was like, what What can I do? Because sometimes maybe I, I don't have the ability to turn on the microphone. What can I do to put something in people's hands that will be maybe beneficial and 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 highly maybe maybe pretty inexpensive maybe maybe it's inexpensive in the short term maybe in the long term it won't be so inexpensive but maybe we can try it at least we can do a a trial test um, and see if it works and then if it does determine how much it's going to cost us because uh, there is clearly a cost involved but I, I will explain everything in a minute so one of the things I've done here at Victory Baptist Church one of the first things I did well, I tried to, at different, sometimes at the beginning of a year, I would buy like a book for everyone, like maybe two books or a book and try to give everyone in the church a book. And then I would find out by the end of the year, nobody read the books. All right. So then I stopped buying books <laughs> because I'm like, nobody's going to, to read them. So that was a failure. So then I came up with this little thing called the feature, a daily Bible study guide, right? Okay, it's a little physical, little uh, devotional Bible study guide. Uh, and we would get like about 60 of them, 70 of them, 100 of them. And we would put them there and then we'd hand them to people. And then you come to find out, eh, you know, no one's really using them. So we're spending all of that money. No one's really using them. So I'm like, okay, we're going to stop that. We're going to stop that. And I'm like, okay, maybe if we, maybe if we had something better, then everyone would be like, yeah, they can't wait. So... We got, and you can hear them. I got a stack of them here. <laughs> I got I got a stack of them in the library. A stack of them that nobody ever took, <laughs> nobody ever used. Okay, yeah, you talk about disheartening and discouraging. Okay, uh, they were called the Explore the Bible Personal Study Guide. Oh, I mean, these are nice books, large print. Oh. <sighs> I love these things. Oh, I love these things. I love them. I love them so much. Whenever they come in the mail for me, oh, I get excited. I get so excited. I open them up, man. I start marking them up. I go, I start reading and I'm like, oh, this is good stuff. This is good stuff. This is good stuff. In fact, I was, I was doing one uh, yesterday. I spent most of yesterday, a good portion of yesterday, uh, doing one of the uh, explore the Bible study guides for Romans, uh, Romans, Revelation chapter three. Oh man, it was some good stuff. And uh, it may, it's probably will turn into a sermon. I've got it. I've got so many notes and uh, it was good stuff. Now they're, they're not, they're very basic, but if you take the basic stuff, you can, you can go all day with it. So we tried these and they were relatively expensive and we put them in the hands of people and it started to become obvious once again that, well, you know, people, did, did, okay, so what did you get? Uh, no, nobody knows. Nobody looked at it. Nobody, and it only takes so. It, it doesn't take a long time for you to just start realizing that you're. Look, I now maybe sometimes I'm too negative, but I'm not going to be one of those pastors who sit there and convince himself everyone's doing it. Everyone, I'm not going to sit there and lie to myself. It becomes obvious when you're asking questions. I mean, there's some questions you can ask, like, okay, hey, I, uh, this qu- the, the book we have for this quarter, right? Say for spring 2020, uh, what book are we look, currently looking at? Uh, uh, nobody has an answer. It's, it, we've had this book now for the entire spring. 
It's on the book of Romans. <laughs> okay. Or we had this one for the summer of 2020. It's Proverbs. <laughs> okay. It's it's pretty simple, straightforward st- stuff, right? Now, there would be some people in the church, oh man, not only did they were their booklets marked up, they had notebooks, they were going to town. And that oh, that was encouraging. But then you had the, maybe the majority that wasn't. And then you should start asking, we're wasting money. So I just basically stopped. I'm I'm not, I'm just not gonna do it. Now, guess what? There was no protest. <laughs> there was no like, please, please. No one, no one, to be fair, one person said, please give me the Bible study, guys, please. Nobody else cared. Nobody else was like, yeah, whatever. So that means currently I'm not handing anything out in my church. Nothing. I just, I gave up. I just, I'm after, after what, 15 years, 16 years, 17 years, 20 years, ever how many years I've been here. I just finally like, you know what? It's a waste of money and time. And it just gets frustrating. And then I get frustrated uh, you know what? I'm just going to preach and teach, do the best I can, and and I'll I'll wait. And when the people say, you know what, Pastor, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I I really need something. You know, I really need now. Now, to be fair, I, hopefully, maybe the people in the church are doing the Bible study exercises that I'm giving in the podcast form. Maybe I don't know, but trust me, no one came looking for anything, which is a pretty good sign that I made the right decision. Because if they're not missing it. Then they don't. They didn't want it, and it was just becoming a burden. And the last thing you want it to do is to become a legalistic burden. You don't want it to be a legal a legalistic thing, but you want people to want to study God's word. God's word is supposed to be our spiritual food. You need physical food every day. Then why don't you need spiritual food every day? But if the people don't want it, there's no use in fighting that battle, right? So so churches spend a lot of money wasting it. But I still think we need to put things in people's hands. Well. The pandemic has changed everything dramatically. So Lifeway, the people who produce these right here, the stack, I got a, I got, I don't even know how many, I don't know how many I've thrown away. I started throwing away more copies than I think I was handing out, which was really starting that. Like when I'm throwing away books, I start having uh, basically, you know, panic attacks because I feel like I'm a Nazi, you know. So uh, it was becoming very like, oh, this can't be happening. This can't be happening. And so then I started realizing that this, this is a bad idea. So I still have a bunch of them because I couldn't bring myself to throw them away. I, I'm like, I'm just going to keep them in the library. Someday someone's going to go, Pastor, I need Bible study, study material because I can't study the Bible enough. And then and the day that happens, I'm going to fall on the floor and have a heart attack and die. But okay, so uh, I, um, I gave up on these, but the pandemic, Lifeway was like, you know what? Let's move our curriculum and all of these materials Let's move it to an online situation. We don't send people actual books. We'll create a situation where one church purchases a subscription. And the subscription, will they will give them, will make it uh, all the curriculum available to a certain number. So it depends on your subscription cost. Like one maybe is $20 a month, and that's like one to 100 people. And then the next one's like $50 a month. And that's like from, you know, 200 to 500. And then it goes up and up and up. And then when you get like thousands of people, it costs like, you know, $1,000. It gets pretty expensive. So, but I thought, well, you know what? I'm going to start with a very small one. And just see first, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to look at it and see how I like it. Now I still prefer, I still prefer the physical copies. I really do. I really do prefer the physical copies, but the physical copies are like, how much do these cost a piece? Um, I can't remember. It's like $5 a piece. I think, I think it's almost $5 a piece. So they start adding, they start adding up, but okay. Um, I, I still prefer the physical ones. I, I do, but the, the, the ones online work very, very well. They work online. They work really, really well. So here's what, we go, what we, I've done. I've got a subscription for one month. All right, or the church, you know, uh, you know, using the church account. And I have it set up. And I'm looking for someone to join me in trying this out. All right. So here's what you need to do. It's very simple. You don't need to contact me. You don't need to get any of your information. Go to theologycentral.net. If you go to theology, now I haven't clicked on the link to see if it works because I, I'm afraid that if I click on it, it will use up the link, but we'll see how well it works. Go to theologycentral.net and you're going to see, uh, go to the blog section. And you're going to see a post called Daily Discipleship Guide, right? And there's a link. When you click to it, it should take you to what's called ministry grid, ministrygrid.com. Now you may have to sign up. 
You may have to register, right? So a free account, you register. I don't get your information. It doesn't come to me. This is all done through LifeWay's service. It's not, not, not coming through me. So I'm not here to, trying to get, gain a, a mailing list or anything like that. Once you do that, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what you're going to see. I don't know what's going to be available to you. I don't, I don't have a clue what it's going to look like. I don't know. What I'm hoping you find is the Daily Discipleship Guide. Now, we use the King James here. Use the King James Version. Now, there's some other versions, I think, that are available, but use the King James Version and because then we'll be using the same version. And then I want you to open it, and I want you to start looking at it. Now, the one that is available, the, this, the, the link that I sent, made available is basically a Bible study guide that is, or a discipleship guide that is only available from today till I think next Sunday, all right? And I think it's based off a section of Revelation chapter three, and it's it, it breaks it down into basically daily discipleship studies. Now, there's another one we could do that breaks it down differently, but I'm just starting with this one. So I want you to see if you can find it, if it works for you, if it, if it makes sense, and if it does, and you're like, man, that, I would use that. Because then what I could do is I could take that and then break that down to our, into a podcast form. And then I could add, I could take some of that material and then I could add to it with a Bible study exercise podcast. So you would have curriculum. I would be doing the, basing my Bible study exercises off that curriculum. And it would be a win-win. Like you would be getting double the content, double the study. You would be doing your own study. I would be doing study with you. And then, and then we could really, 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 really go deeper into it. And then in some cases, maybe turn it into a sermon and then preach a sermon on it. And it would be triple. You would have, you would have curriculum. I would do Bible study exercise podcast and then preach a sermon. That would turn into threefold level of looking at a particular passage of scripture or section or topic. I think that could be fascinating. I don't know how well it would work. So here's what, I, if, if, you, if you look at it and you want to do it, please let me know. You're going to have to email me. Now, I'll, I'm, now, if you sign up, I should get a notification that you've signed up. I should get a notification letting me know that you've got access, but I'm going to need your email to let me know, yeah, this is working or wait, this is the worst idea ever. This is, it doesn't work. It's too complicated, right? Um, what's going on here? Okay. That's weird. Okay. All right. I'm getting a messages from podcast apps that, that I, that I don't know what's going on. All right, I got to figure that out. All right, that's interesting. So maybe maybe you have an opportunity with some uh, some uh, podcast apps. We'll have to see. I'm always like sometimes when you when your numbers continue to grow, you get some opportunities. So we'll have to look at that. Uh, but so I was looking to see if I was already getting any emails. But uh, so here's what I need you to do: go to theologycentral.net. That's theologycentral.net. That's our pod page. Go to the blog section. Look for the article that I posted today on daily discipleship guide. There is a link. Click on that link. I think you'll have to register. Once you're in, I need you to show me what you find, show me how easy it is to access, and then look at the material and tell me what you think. I need like a a, a quick review. And if you're like, I would be down with this, I would be, I would, I would love this. Then if you do, and if you would do Bible studies and you do some extra podcasting work with this, this would be great. And if it works for you, then just give me a thumbs up. Now, obviously, there, 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 we can only go, we, there's only, there's only so far we can go with this, right? Because <laughs> unless people start giving us money, right? <laughs> unless people hit that donate tab on the Theology Central pod page, well, we can't do this very long, okay? Uh, so, so n- this may be a, 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 an exercise in futility, but I'm just curious to see how you can, we can like almost create a, I don't want to say a small group, a community of people. I don't even like the word community because it's so emergent church kind of thing. We can we can gather a group of people who are committed to studying the Bible, and then they they get the curriculum. I can give them the curriculum. They're looking at it. They're u- using it. I'm doing Bible. I'm doing podcast episodes based off stuff found in the curriculum, right? And then I may preach a sermon off something in the curriculum and it all comes together and you're getting three levels of study. And if you heard my stomach growling, I apologize because I, I haven't eaten today. All right. So, um, so yeah, I'm starving right now. So um, I, I'm just, I'm really curious with this, with this works. I mean, we got to come up with something well, and, and there's got to be a better way. And if th- this, this is an interesting concept. Do it all digitally. 
Nobody is having, you know, Bible study guides sent to their house. You have to reorder them or you, you know, you, they show up and you got to distribute them. This just, people just log in and it's right there. It's right there. Now I logged in on my iPad and um, it works pretty, it works, it works pretty good. I, I think it works really well. Um, let me see here. I don't want to click on that link. If I go to the curriculum, okay, here we go. That's the, uh, that's the easy link. All right, I'm going to back up here. I'm going to go back. I'm, I'm, I'm currently logged into ministrygrid.lifeway.com is what the ultimate link is here. Um, let me do a, okay, I'm going to go under Bible Studies for Life. I'm going to go here for Daily Discipleship Guide. Okay, that, I don't want that. That's not what I want, okay? Okay, here we go here. Uh, okay, there we go. Uh, see, where are we at? So let me go all the way back. Okay, so it's called Faithful in All Things. Here it is. Faithful in All Things is available through August the 8th, all right? I click on it, all right? Now, here is Daily Discipleship Guide. Oh, right, that's interesting. Okay, um, there's the uh, there's the personal study guide as well. But I'm just going to go to the daily discipleship guide, and here's what I find. Okay, it's opening up. It's opening up. It says faithful in all things. Has a photograph of a pen on top. And why do they have a pen right there? You know that they're ungodly. It should be a pencil on top of a notebook. And it says the Bible meets life. Several years ago, I served alongside a pastor who wrote five to 10 notes of encouragement every Monday. He sent these notes to different people in the church. At, that, at the time, I didn't really understand the importance of what he was doing. Why spend so much time doing something that seems so tedious and time-consuming each week? Looking back, the pastor knew something I, had, I hadn't yet learned as a young pastor. Encouragement goes a long way in helping the people in your sphere of influence to keep walking strong in their own faith. Even when we don't know what's going on in a person's life, a simple word of encouragement is never out of place. All right, now, that right there, that can, that's, that can, that can be convicting a lot, all kinds of different ways, all right? So then they go down here. Uh, now, now, the one thing about the uh, Daily Discipleship Guide that I just realized, they have these little fill-in-the-blank things, but there's no answer. So it would be interesting to see. I will have the answer. The answer will be available to me. It'll be interesting to see um, if that causes a problem or not. Because it, right here it says, faithfully, and then blank, God as you minister to others. Now, I don't know if the answer is found here, but um, yeah, that would be interesting. So, and I, I can just sit here and go through here, and then it has uh, uh, day one, day two, has all the uh, daily uh, studies. So, yeah, it looks like it could be very interesting, could be very good. We could do a lot with it. Um, if if we if everyone does this one, like, and we could move to we could move back to the uh, uh, the adult study guide and not the discipleship guide. But I like the discipleship guide, um, and I think then I could come along and then. It would be interesting to see how well people would do in filling in the blank. Um, it, would, it would be interesting to see how quickly people could fill in these blanks. So one, faithfully blank God as you minister to others. The other one is entrance into God's kingdom is blank for those who have trusted in Christ. All right. It would be interesting to see um, how these answers are found. But the, the, the curriculum is right there. Should be easy to find. So if you, if you get in, you're going to be, look, I don't know how it's going to show up. It may show up uh, in a lot of, this is actually dated July the 11th. So it's an older one, but it, it's available till next week. So we can use this one. And I think, I think that's, uh, yeah, I think that's very important. Um, yeah, and I'm, I'm just clicking on all the things here, just looking at it. I, I know it's not riveting a podcast, but uh, it's, I think it's really good here. All right. Um, yeah, faithfully trust God as you minister to others. All right. So it, it would be, uh, yeah, it'd be interesting to see if people can, can find that answer. So what well, we would have to mess around with it and see, but the main thing is I want you to look at it, mess with it, read it, look at it and see if it works for you. If you're like that works and it's great, 
then let me know. And may, maybe we can keep it going for a little while. Maybe, maybe it won't work. Uh, I think it's a great idea to try it. Um, but uh, bigger churches, churches, your, if your church has money, this is an easy way to get curriculum in people's hands and get everyone doing the same study. It, it should be. I mean, to me, theoretically, I've always thought that would be amazing. Can you imagine a church where everyone is reading and studying the same thing all week and then they're talking about it during the week? What, what, yeah. <laughs> I've envisioned that since I was a teenager and never have once witnessed it, ever, ever which is literally the most depressing thing to me about Christianity. You know, we're all, we, lo- you know, we love God's word. I mean, every, all Christians, we love it. We love God. We're going to seek first the kingdom of God. We're going to seek, uh, seek those things above, not things on all. I hear all the talk and all the claims. And then, all right, so what did you study this week? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, you know, I, I, read, I read a couple of verses. Okay. Hey guys, let's all study this this week. No, 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 no. Okay, all right, well, never mind. You go do your thing, do my thing, because, you know, we're obviously don't have God in common, right? right? We don't, you know, I don't have anything else in common with you, and clearly we don't have the study of God's word in common, so we don't have anything in common, but we should have God in common, right? Shouldn't we? So um, I just think this is a cool tech, a cool idea. It makes it simple, easy. I just give you the link. You're in. You have access to the curriculum. You don't have to pay for it. It's free for you. Um, we pay for it. Now, there's only so much we can do because there's only so many links I can give out and then it's going to say no more. You're, you're over your limit and then I can't give, nobody else has access. Now, I, I don't know if I have to assign you curriculum. I don't know. I'm still trying to figure it all out. So I need you. So go to theologycentral.net, look for the blog article, click on the link and just give me a review of how easy it was to log in, how easy was it to find the curriculum and how well the curriculum worked on your particular device that you're using, phone, phone, computer, tablet, let me know. And then look at the curriculum and go, oh, I, I, I could really get something out of this. And if you did those additional things, this would be like, this would be worth something. And then you can let me know. Now, if you're, if you're down with the idea, you love the idea, and you want to help support so that we can pay for the idea, again, this is, I think we're only going to be able to pull this off for like 30 days. Um, then you just go to theologycentral.net. You can hit the donate tab right there, or you can send us a check. Obviously, you can email me for that con- uh, information. Uh, but um, it, it's simple. It, it's right there. And I, I can't, I think the, the current one, let's see here. Um, I can tell you quickly. Um, here's how the pricing works. Um, okay, let's see here. Now, this is for. Give me a second. I'm, 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 I'm trying to show you. Uh, it take, uh, some of this stuff, okay. No, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, they're getting ready to charge me $100. Okay, no, we don't want that. Okay, we don't want that. Uh, this is the training section. I don't know why the training section is there. Um, let's see here. Uh, let me see here. I'm looking. Right, manage subscriptions. Okay, here. Okay, I got a basic license. Okay, now I don't want to manage seats. Yeah, we. how many seats do we have here? Whoa, we've got a lot of empty seats. So in other words, there's a lot of room for a lot of people for what we, for the subscription that we currently have. All right. Um, our renewal date is... Uh, September the 1st. So there was that. I see here. Do we have settings? Okay. Um, I'm looking here. What else we have here that we can look at? All right. And, uh, All right, yeah, here we go. And then uh, I guess I can contact them and ask questions. Um, yeah, uh, this, this is, it's interesting the way this is all set up. Uh, here we go. Here's curriculum. Let me see here. Okay, here we go. Here's what I was looking for. All right, yes, so Bible Studies for Life, that's what we signed up for. All right, here's how it works. For adults, uh, the basic 
uh, for up to 25 people um, is $20, $20 a month. If we want to go to the plus, which may give you some more options, it's uh, $37 a month. If we go to 50 people, it's $44 a month or $85 a month. If we go to 51 to 100 people, it becomes $88 a month or $171 a month. If we go over 100 people to 200 people, now it's $175 a month or $342 a month for the plus. And if you get to four, if you go to over 400 people, it's it's $525 a month, um, and or it's a thousand for the plus. The plus features give you uh, NIV options, which we don't use. A leader's Guide in Word documents, I don't need that. Visual aids, I don't need that. Uh, advanced Bible study teacher and personal study guides, that sounds cool, but it's not worth it. A uh, Commentary, that sounds good. Promo videos, we don't need that. Social media messages, we don't need that. Family connection printables, we don't need that. So really, the basic, the basic structure is pretty good. So if you think about it, the most expensive for anything over 400 people, we would be paying $525 a month. $525 a month putting curriculum in the hands of over 400 people. Yeah, now my church can't afford that. No way, no how. But uh, some churches could do that. And that would be, you know how much cheaper that would be than buying the physical copies for the people in my church, just the people in my church was costing us well over a hundred dollars a month, almost one hundred and fifty dollars, maybe even close to two hundred dollars a month. So, um, so, yeah. So it would be far cheaper doing the digital. Doing the digital would be far cheaper. So, uh, yeah, that that's the way it works. And so we're going to try it for a month. And if you want to be a part of it, I would. You could you could help me out greatly, even if it's just one of you. You can just go again theologycentral.net. Follow the link. Look at it. Tell me what how it works for you. Now, some some of you may go, well, we don't. Li- I don't like Lifeway, and I don't like. I don't agree with everything they do as well. I don't agree with with uh, all everything that is in these study guides. But that's the reason of you doing a study because you're confronted and you're like, okay, do I agree? Do I disagree? I think most of it is is when it gets to something that could be doctrinally controversial, they kind of skim over it, and then that's up to the teacher then to dive in and go, no, that's where we're going to to focus. So. We can use the curriculum as a starting point, and then we can build on it, and we, what well, we can do like we've done with Psalm 37. We can go 15, 16, 17, 100 parts if we need to. So um, I think it's a cool idea. We'll see. It probably won't work, and it's all going to fall apart, but we'll, we'll give it a shot. So, uh, and if you think it's an idea, then definitely help support us, um, you know, help support it, because it would be, you, you wouldn't be supporting us. You'd basically be hoping to pay for the curriculum that you would be getting access to. That's what you would be doing. Um, so I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Uh, you can email me uh, what you find, discover, newsif at yahoo.com, newsif at yahoo.com. That's newsif at yahoo.com. It's 7.41 p.m., and I'm going to die of starvation, so I'm going to stop talking, <laughs> right? So there you have it. Uh, we'll give it a shot. We'll see if it works, and um, if it if it does, great, and if it doesn't, uh, you know, nothing nothing ventured, nothing gained. If you don't try it, you know. If, if, if you never, if you never shoot at the target, you, then you're never going to hit it. Right. I, but if you never shoot it, I guess you can never miss as well. Right. But if you never try, you can never fail. So I guess you can flip it around in another way, but I, I tend to just go throw it out there and see how it all implodes on me. And I end up looking like a failure, but you know what? It's, it's okay. We'll, we'll give it a shot. All right. Can't wait to hear your thoughts on all of this. Um, Hey, it's the way it, the, the main thing, I think this is the way a lot of things are moving for the church. A lot of things are moving towards a digital idea because of technology and because of the COVID situation uh, has really changed. Uh, you know, a lot of people are, are kind of disconnecting from the local church. I don't want anyone to disconnect from the local church, but whatever we can do to try to still minister to people, I'm going to, you know, I want people be to be here in the body. But as churches fall apart, people may have a hard part, a hard time finding a church get them connect, then I'll get them whatever I can to connect them through whatever I can do for them. And if I can put curriculum in, in their, in their hands, and then they're communicating with the curriculum, then that, that adds at least some sense of a body. And then hopefully we can minister and help people. So, all right, there's some ideas leads to all kinds of other discussions, but I can't wait to hear what you have to say. All right. Email me newsif at yahoo.com, newsif at yahoo.com. We'll see what happens. All right. God bless.